y'all, it's Jesslyn again. I'm here with another body doubling video and today we're gonna be doing the dishes. So this is like the bane of my existence. <laughs> I don't know about you, but like laundry, like it's just like put it in there and forget about it and change it at some point. Maybe put it away <laughs> eventually, but it's not that bad, but like, Dishes are the worst. I don't know if it's sensory stuff from my ADHD or if it's just like that they're never ending because we love to eat um, and then you find them all over the house. I don't know. <laughs> I, I hate dishes. I'm just gonna say it. I do. I don't like doing dishes. So if you feel the same way or you just have a bunch of dirty dishes or a messy kitchen or whatever and you need some help getting it done, then I want you to take your phone into your kitchen or your laptop or whatever you're watching on, get set up, we're gonna gather our dishes and we're gonna do our clean dishes in putting them away, then we're gonna do our dirty dishes and we're gonna get this done together, okay? All right, so first thing, gotta go get the dishes. If you've got dishes by your bed table, I mean by your bed, like on a table or on the floor or behind curtains in the windowsill, I often find them there. If you've got dishes in your car, I know I need to get some out of my husband's car, or you've got dishes on the table or in the living room or wherever, go gather them up. Gather them up like the precious little stones they are. Okay, I'm off to get mine. out of my husband's car this one has a feather in it don't ask because I don't know bathrooms I'm like totally shocked some little gnome must have carried them off but there are some in our kitchen in our dining area we've got all of our breakfast dishes still some with food still on them these are fresh I promise cooking sounds. It's the crock pot instant pot thing. So just ignore them. Okay, so we've gathered. What's next? We can either put away the clean stuff or start picking up trash. I don't know. What order do you do it in usually? I feel like the trash and like the little cloths and stuff they're sitting around they like distract me that like visual clutter is really bad for my mental health so I think that I would start with that and get it just like clear out the area a little bit so I'm gonna start with trash and putting away the cloths and stuff that need to just go in the laundry should I 
just gather your trash, more recycling, wherever it is. everything as much like into one area like all the dirty dishes in one area um, and this is only like we didn't do dishes after dinner last night because we were really tired and then we ate breakfast um, so we don't have like a whole kitchen worth of dishes to do um, so I can kind of do that and then I feel like that side is cleared off and it, it just kind of like gives me a little bit of <laughs> peace but and I don't I don't know if I can fit them all today so they might be a little bit over there but the more compact I can get my dishes that need to be cleaned the better I feel so I'm gonna spend some time doing that um, but also I have a little tip if you are also like a visual clutter like I don't want the dishes to stack up I hate doing dishes kind of person then um, what we did is we used to have like a whole set of like eight dishes right so you had like eight plates eight dish like bowls and silverware for eight people and stuff like that and then we had like random stuff too like an extra couple of bowls here and like a few extra like kids plates that were like this and so on so that we actually had probably 10 to 16 like if we needed to we could feed 10 to 16 people at the same time all on the same kind of thing like plates or bowls um but what this meant was we could go three or four days and, and kind of get by with not doing dishes and that led us to like huge piles of dirty dishes. Um, so, and we had extra pots and pans too. So you could like not do your pot for a really long time and it just be like really gross and hard to clean. And like the longer it waited, the like worse it got. And you just like built up this idea of not wanting to do it. The messy buildup would back up over the whole kitchen and it was terrible. We'd get like little fruit flies and stuff. like. What we did was we minimalized to a point where we literally each have one plate and one bowl. And right now, <laughs> that's certainly not a problem because we don't have anybody coming over to eat. Um, I don't know how it'll work out later, but for the last year or so it's worked really well because like, if we eat on it, we kind of just wash the bowls and plates off and then like the dishwasher ends up being things that like um, serving bowls or like, um, the things that we cook with, right? Like, that we wouldn't need necessarily at every meal. And, um, you know, our plasticware and things like that. So they get dishwashed and like, okay, if, if there's time we'll put in, I mean, if we're about to run it, we'll put in some of our plates and stuff too. But um, generally we just wash our plates and bowls by hand and it takes so little time and you have to have them to eat again next time. So having less stuff in your kitchen, like, is better if you don't want the dishes to back up, in my opinion. Okay. So now we've done that. I'm going to scoot all the dirty dishes to one place. Like I said, I was going to... So many dirty dishes. I do not know. Okay. Awesome. Are you getting it done? Are you doing this? We can do this. We can do this. Okay. We're ready to start putting away clean dishes. If you've got clean dishes, start putting them away. Or you know, wherever you are in your journey of doing the dishes, it's fine. Do what you need to do. But if you're following along. So I know 
find my brain works best when I have like lots of little steps that I can be like I've completed something. So even if I don't just tell myself, oh, I'm going to do the clean dishes, and then that's like one big step that I can check off. What I do is I say, I'm gonna put up the clean dishes from the sink. That's a check. Then I'll do the bottom rack, and that's a check. And then the top rack of the dishwasher, and that's a check. So I kind of break it down into little pieces so I can feel productive. I'm also going to put away my appliances that don't belong up here. nothing cycle. Think small and something. I like that. Small and something. And there are a lot of times where I'll be doing dishes or like I know I need to do the dishes and I'll just do, I just put away the dishes in the sink. And then I go do whatever else I have to do, or just sit on the couch, or whatever. And then I come back later, and I do just the dishes on the top rack, and so forth. And you can do that too. You can always pause this video, or stop when you need to. Come back to it. If you've got a lot of dishes, more than me, that's okay. That is not a problem. All of our problems have solutions. So, you can reuse this video. You can play it more than once. We don't have to be at the same part of doing the dishes. All we have to do is keep moving forward and make progress. Progress not perfection. I really need to get like a silverware drawer organizer, but I've never liked them because they never fit just right in the drawer, or they fit in the drawer, but they don't have the exact like configuration that I need. Um, but also, just putting the silverware in like this doesn't seem to work. It gets really screwy after a while. By the way, we have really pretty rainbow silver. <laughs> I love this stuff. If you have picky eaters, like kids, or yourself even, that are picky eaters, eating with rainbow silverware might. It certainly makes my kids more excited to eat. And me too. I don't need to be any more excited to eat. I love to eat. But <laughs> it does make me happy to have rainbow silverware.
more tips that have really helped in our kitchen. Um, the minimalist mom, the minimal mom, the minimal mom. She suggested in her kitchen, one of her kitchen videos, to store your lids on your Tupperware and it takes up more space. I mean, this isn't Tupperware, obviously, but whatever, your storage containers. Um, it takes up more space, but if you have a pretty minimal kitchen, you know, you may have space for this, and we found that we do. Um, but I'm not always searching for lids anymore, and that's very helpful. Actually, I can see some stuff that doesn't belong in the kitchen right now. Yeah, so we're getting closer. Oh my, you know how it is when you keep seeing stuff? And you just like can't stop yourself from <laughs> messing with it even though it's not the important thing. Yeah. So that. Okay. Um yes. So I feel like I'm kinda like halfway there because all I've got left is the dirty dishes. And while it's a goodly pile of dirty dishes, it's doable. It's doable. And no matter how big your pile of dishes is, it's doable too. Whether it's just dishes from breakfast today or dinner today or my piles and piles from days and days it's okay it's okay okay i'm gonna get a drink of coffee because i burned it <laughs> um if you need to have some water please drink some water today have some water have a drink of whatever you're drinking 
Take a little rest if you need to, or keep pushing through, whatever you need to do. If you're a big iced coffee drinker, like I have become in the last two months, Seriously, before that, I really didn't drink that much coffee, and then in the last two months, I've really gotten into drinking iced coffee, like two of these every day. Um, I highly suggest like a little bit of Ceylon cinnamon and some turmeric, like a tiny little fourth of a teaspoon or even an eighth of a teaspoon of turmeric in your coffee. You won't taste the turmeric. The cinnamon adds like a nice little hint and they're both so healthy for you. Turmeric really helps with inflammation and cinnamon helps with like anti-aging stuff. So like, why not? I feel like I'm being healthy while I drink. And I make this with hemp milk that we make at home that is literally just hemp seeds and dates and then water and blend it. You don't even have to strain it or anything. And then I'm like, oh, I'm getting my omega-3s. I'm, so, I'm such a healthy coffee drinker. So you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> to get those little healthy bits in, right? Okay. Alright. Dirty dishes. So first step with dirty dishes, I think I've got enough to fill the dishwasher, so I'm going to start by filling the dishwasher. Except with stuff like we're gonna need our plates later today. So I'm not going to put those in. But stuff like all these cups, they can go in. Okay, just do it. You can do it, I can do it, we're doing this together. Like that, but like to 
me it's like Tetris. Like how can I fit everything in and like not have any space and everything has like the best chance of washing cleanly and not flipping over. <laughs> and so I have like a very specific place that I put things to maximize the use of the dishwasher. <laughs> um, but other people definitely have different ways and like maybe they're making the maximum use of like what they're trying to do or like their best efficiency or whatever and we just have different things we want to accomplish with the dishwasher like I really want to get the most stuff in there and still get it clean but um but yeah do you have a specific way that you do the dishwasher and are you a silverware down so that you can pick up the clean handles person or are you a silverware up so that it has like more water spraying at it, I guess, is the idea. I don't, I honestly don't really understand the silverware up <laughs> kind of thing. But, um, but are you one of those people? And if so, why? Because I don't understand that. Um, but I think that it's to, cause it like theoretically could get cleaner. Um, or maybe they don't like stack like this accidentally if you do it that way. Let me know. Oh, and I had an ex whose dishwasher style was to put all the spoons, like all the little spoons together, all the forks together, all the big spoons together, because it made it easy, like all the knives together, it made it easy. You just pick up all the knives and like put them away. But if you do that, they're more likely to like nest into each other and not clean, right? That was my thing. If you put like a fork and a spoon in, they're not gonna nest. So there are so many ways <laughs> to do the dishes. And honestly, as long as they're getting done, like I don't know why I get so particular about it. Because if they're getting done, that's all that matters. And yay to you however you do it. Oh, I feel like I almost, there was like a thread of what I was gonna say before. It's definitely about like not being perfect or something. Man, I wish I could remember because I feel like maybe I need to hear it myself. super stinky usually and when we get it out it like smells good or it doesn't smell at all but like dishes especially the ones that have been left in the car or like leftovers that went bad I don't know if I should start the dishwasher now because it might it looks super loud um, dishwasher. It's a good dishwasher. That's the nice thing about having an appliance repairman for a partner is the dishwasher is pretty good, but it is super loud and it runs for so long. So I think I'll just wait and start it at the very end of the video. Yes. Okay. This is it right here. Two, three, four. 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Maybe there's some stuff in this disgusting pot of liquid. 13-ish things left to go. And I'm at the hand wash stage. Where are you? Are you doing it? We can do this. This is my least favorite part. We can do this. Um, yes. Go. Oh, this isn't the kitchen tip I was going to say earlier, but it's a great kitchen tip. We put dish soap in a spray bottle. This is just a dollar store spray bottle. And fill it up with water. And you use so much less. And like, I just like spray it on. It's so convenient. <laughs> I don't have to pick up a thing and turn it over. Yeah, no, this is so convenient. Um, so yeah, that's helpful too. I remember the kitchen tip. <laughs> I heard, and it just blew my mind, and maybe it shouldn't have, but I heard this tip that was like, if you need to wash the dishes again, like if you run the dishwasher, because you put dirty dishes like full of food because you are not there for rinsing and like getting stuff ready, and you just got like caked on stuff on your dishes, and you just, you're, you're not gonna scrub them. Like you don't have the spoons for it, you cannot get yourself to do that, and that's okay because we've been there. Just put them in the dishwasher, and if they don't clean, run the dishwasher again. <laughs> if they're still not clean, run the dishwasher again. <laughs> and like, maybe they'll get clean. I mean, is it the most efficient thing or like the best for the environment? No, I mean, like obviously if you're able to do it differently than that, then do it. But like, there have been times where that has saved me, where it's like, I can't do these dishes. They are, they're stacked up, they're dirty. Like, I, I just can't, I, I can't do the smells, I can't do the like, touching things. Even like, yeah, sponges for me have some issues. Um, but I can load the dishwasher. So I do that, I run it, whatever got clean I take out, 
and I leave the rest in and then like load it back up, run it, <laughs> take out what got clean, run it again. And usually on the second or third try, the stuff that was dirty gets clean. Now sometimes it's like bad placement because if I put the, um, we have a lot of like jars that we drink out of um, and even use for storing food like leftovers. If I put these on the top shelf of my, like the top rack, they get caked with stuff inside. It's really gross and it's so hard to clean and I have to use a bottle brush, like I have to let it soak and then use a bottle brush and like really scrub it to get it out. It's horrible and it takes forever. And I almost stopped using jars because of it. And then I found out if I put them on the bottom rack, I don't even know if you can see, but like half of my bottom rack is just jars. And if I put them there, I don't have that problem. So sometimes if stuff isn't getting clean, you might try moving it to a different area and seeing if there's a better way to put your dishes. Um, yeah, so that's it. Like, Don't be ashamed to run the dishwasher two or three times to see if you could get stuff clean if that is what you need to do. where you can be you know the most efficient and the best for the environment Sorry. and stuff like that then that's great if you're at a place where you can only wash one dish out of a mountain of dishes just so you have something to eat off of today that's great too if you're at a place where you are going to eat off the table because you don't want to have to do dishes I've been there too so, there's no judgment. You gotta do what you gotta do. Don't look at other people and think you gotta be like them because you don't know where their brain is. And also don't look at other people and judge what they're doing because you don't know where their brain is. You don't know what's going on in their, in their inner life, even if you think you do. So, no judgment. especially because when it comes time to eat that meal, you either don't feel like cooking it or don't feel like eating it or whatever and end up eating out or like going out to buy more food. <laughs> and then maybe the food that you bought gets wasted or you're wasting money or whatever. If that's you, it's definitely me. Then you should definitely subscribe because we are going to have 
a video soon about how we're doing this new way of eating and it has been so helpful like all of that is completely gone we're not wasting food we're eating whatever we want like that we decide that day so if i need something fast then i'm able to make something fast and if i feel like taking time to make something like more intense or intensive then i do <laughs> or if um, our plans change like it's easy to like move with them um, or if like often happens to me I forget some vital part of the recipe like soaking beans overnight which I was gonna make baked beans for dinner last night in the crock pot I forgot to soak the beans and normally that would have sent me into like a tailspin I would have been like Whoa, we just can't eat <laughs> or now I have to spend an hour boiling the beans and like quick soaking them or whatever. But yesterday I just went, oh well, I'll soak them now and we'll make tater tot casserole for dinner because I have this great new way of doing food that allows for that kind of flexibility. So, more to come. Another kitchen tip. First of all, if you're like me and you hate doing this kind of dish or any dishes because of the feelings, I've heard that wearing the like rubber gloves is really helpful for that. But um, I just don't like to have one extra thing that I have to do. But these dishes have been so much easier to do since we bought their lodge casserole dishes. That's the only kind of pots or pans that we have anymore. Um, actually, I think we have a tiny frying pan that my husband kept. But we bought the like lodge cleaning set to go with them. And this is like a little scraper and you just like <laughs> scrape up the stuff and this is like a scrubber. <laughs> I have to say, these have been amazing. I'm, I mean, I, I use them on like plates and stuff too. It's really dug in there. You can super easily like get in there and like scrape everything off if it's been sitting in water you just like get in there like the whole bottom of the thing is clean and then this brush works really well so yeah kitchen tip number five I think <laughs> up this last dish because my battery is about to run out so if I just all of a sudden I'm gone <laughs> just know that I finished this dish and that you can too and that you can always replay this as many times as you need to to get your dishes done okay also one more tip <laughs> you know how they're called like sink disposals are sometimes called disposals that's like a brand name well now that I have <laughs> parents appliance repair person as my partner uh, I have learned that they don't dispose all. <laughs> you are not supposed to put your food waste down the sink. Um, I totally thought that was like a valid way to do stuff, like lemons and things, right? Weren't, were you taught that? Like that, that, that's supposed to make it smell nice and you're supposed to put lemons and limes down there. You're not. <laughs> Apparently, you are not. That is just to help with any little bits of food scraps that do accidentally go down there. It is not for disposing of things. <laughs> I feel like that guy, Sydney Raz, it's like things that I learned before, like things I should have learned before I was 30 or whatever, you know, on TikTok or Instagram or whatever. I follow him on Instagram. 
I feel like he needs to do one of those. Like the disposal isn't for disposing of food. <laughs> so I tag him, get him on here. Tell him that that's one he could do. Maybe he's already done it, I don't know. Thank you for being here. And thank you for helping me get this done. I hope it was helpful to you. I hope you learned something. <laughs> if you've got any kitchen tips, definitely let me know in the comments. I would love more. don't have to do this but I always like to try to dry my sink off because it helps it not get like gross like smelly stuff I don't know I do this and then I try to also just like spray off wipe down wherever because all those dishes have been sitting here for like I don't know overnight for sure and I spilled orange juice so I just, uh, this is Lysol in a, Lysol in a dollar store bottle. So, wipe it down. Don't forget to start the dishwasher. Oh. We did it. We did it. Awesome. Keep working if you need to. Watch it again. Get it done. Pause it, start it again, do what you gotta do. You can do this, and thank you for helping me. All right, see y'all soon.